Hello everyone, this is Kill Me Horde. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. We have a journey ahead of us. We're gonna go meet up with Tor and Odin Anderson again. Maybe. I don't know what's gonna happen. The FBC's here, they're doing some nonsense. They're pulling some nonsense. Oh, I gotta walk through the building. This is fine. I like doing this. Not. I need to save. I haven't saved for a minute. Like, I, I'm two chapters behind on saves. Well, all those bodies cleaned up real nicely, so... I guess they don't have to worry about that. Does this open? Nope, okay. Into the danger woods. So I'm gonna go this way. Why are you going that way, you might ask? Who knows? Maybe there's a lunchbox or something. There most certainly was not a lunchbox, sadly. Huh? Oh, this is still flooded. Little bit of flood area. Why well, I feel like I'm getting some lag. Cause that's because I kind of am. Okay, whatever. I might as well just keep going up the hill. Phone call, hello. Hello? Saga, it's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, Kilo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. Uh, uh, we're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck. Shit. That's not good. Something is off at that nursing home. I'll tell you what about happened. I think they're losing their minds again, and they're about to go become uh, a problem. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame, for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent. Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance Lays the Demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Okay. I have anything else in here? Just a reality switcher. Okay. Is Tor okay? Who knows? 
Who knows if they're okay? Okay, they're dead. Yay! I don't have to worry about them anymore. There's a Colt stash off to my left. Apparently. Just, yep, there it is. I see it. Making my way down some rocks. Find a stash. 200 total vehicles in a factory consisting of bikes and cars. Each car has four wheels and each bike has two wheels. There are a total of 754 wheels in the factory. How many cars are in the factory? What? The fuck kind of a math problem is that? That doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense whatsoever. There's like, I don't, I don't think that's even solvable for me. It's like A plus B equals 200, okay? And then A plus B or like 4a plus 2b equals 700 whatever doesn't make sense does not make sense like at all i i'm legitimately just going to say it does not make sense at all I'm not even ashamed of this. I looked it up. Yeah, tell me how the fuck I'm supposed to get that out of what, what it gave me. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. We need to go bigger. More stick symbols. More graffiti. I want people pissing their pants when they think about going in the woods. Spread the word. I'm pulling this out. I got ammo. These cult weirdos are fucked in the head. Anything cool here? Just somebody camping out in the middle of the woods for no reason. Um, okay, there's a cult stash way up there, but I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm worried about... I'm making my way to the ranger station. That's what I'm worried about. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's the thought that counts, right? Eight manuscript frags. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to do that? Whoops.
I'm gonna do reload Remove speed on the motion. shotgun. Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder, and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. Cause like I've been using that shotgun a lot recently, and the reload speed is downright horrendous. Oh, here I go down into the. Oh, actually, I can't go that way. That's the. Is that the puddle? Yeah, that's the puddle. Ah, uh, well, it looks like I can't go this way to the ranger cabin. I'm gonna have to go around the long way now. Sad days, sad days. Feral maniacs. Good. We watch in the night. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Fucking Christ. These guys are annoying. I heal myself with this so I can pick up some painkillers. Pop the reload, click, bolt in. Pull out the shoddy. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Another lunch box. Seven more fragments. Just then, I suddenly slammed into something that felt like a sturdy, well-built brick wall. I almost fell, but a strong arm grabbed me by the waist. I hardly knew what was happening. A voice reached through my confused, frightened haze like an outstretched hand. A gruff, manly voice, the deep, reassuring voice, reassured me. Don't you worry, miss. I've got this. I looked up just in time to see the monster barreling through the forest at us. Just then, a blast. The monster went down like an elderly person who had lost their cane. I looked up at my savior and saw a handsome face with dark hair. He wore a stylish tweed jacket and held up a smoking pistol. Looks like I got here just in time, he said. He smiled at me, my heart fluttered like a bird. I'll say, I thought to myself. You'll say what? Where am I right now? Okay, I'm back on the beaten path. Okay, I gotta go back a bit. I gotta go back a bit. I want to get to that Colt stash, but it's up the hill. A different way. How far back do I gotta go? Oh, it's this way. Okay, it's just this way. I just want this Colt stash up here before I actually go all the way up the, to the nursing home. Just oh, there's a person up here. Wasting your fucking charge. 
stupid idiot saga. At least the game is somewhat kind and is like, oh, you, you ran out of ammo? Here you go. I've got you. Oh, another rhyme. Hold on, I gotta look around a second. All right, the rhyme. Mother, may I go outside? May I run and play? I say to you, my daughter, dear, go outside and play, but only the light of day. Only in the light of day and only round the trees so grown. Never near the lake, my child, and never may you drown. Child. Doesn't look right. Child. Okay, okay. Hey, all the toys are gone. Well, I guess they just got moved. Um... Okay, well, where's my reward? Is it back down the path? I just blasted a hole in that thing. Oh, it's a lantern charm. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop that. Actually, you know what? This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. I'm just gonna. <laughs> A charm for my bracelet. Oh, cool. Well, since this thing's right here, I'll just, uh, I'll just, you know, pop in here and put something away. I'll put, I'll put this ammo in here too. You might be like, hey, why would you put that ammo in there? It's because I don't have the fucking gun yet. So it doesn't bother me if that ammo doesn't exist yet. And I still haven't gotten the stash. I didn't get the stash up there. I did the whole rhyme, but I didn't even do the stash. So now I got to go back up here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Another locked box. Oh, this one's easy. I always forget one. The cult of the tree sees everything. <laughs> you don't. Don't see me stealing from all of your stashes. Stupid idiots. What is that tree doing? I'm popping some pillies.
I'm glad that they drop ammo now, because I probably would have fucking failed hardcore if they didn't. I only get so much ammo in the first place, you know. I guess the original Alan Wake was fairly generous in ammo, too. They would have ammo boxes for your revolver a lot. Hello. Corn Odin claimed to be my family. Nursing home. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom oh, only they ever definitely said my grandfather are. was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. I don't think they're bad news. I think they're just a bunch of goofballs. Who don't know any better. Obviously, I'm supposed to go into it. So, I mean, I guess I should do that. Have some progress happen. Instead of me being a, a stupid. Dang dong. It's a little late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the... Oh. Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, oh, Rose is you know, here. Tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Why is that? I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay, if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um. Sure. Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm actually going to look in all the rooms. Hello, Yako. Looks like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A Saga. perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Sorry, I'm watching a coffee ad. Oh, shit. This coffee is shit. And another lunchbox. You're strong, you're successful, you are confident. I don't have enough for a weapon upgrade. Somebody here is Wake's number one fan. Yeah, it's Rose. coffee from old dear diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better love making. To animals. Oh, thought With I lost you. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. <laughs> Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them. Oh my god. You got an old man wearing a towel. Going in here somewhere. Lady Need to find knitting. them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. What? Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? 
He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. That's it not looked good. like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. Uh. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what. Why does Nurse saying. Blum still exist? Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. What a nice old couple. Couple of friendly. This is your home. You don't need deep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what the ones of the pain don't know. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> Come on, Ati. I want to know what you're choosing. I want to know. Okay. Hello there. Really? Saga Anderson. You're going to play the poet in his name won't make the band worse. <laughs> Even the Swedish name. I'm Art. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old cards of Asgard. My pants. Birkene Vikings. Birkene. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in band? Minag? No, no. Were you? Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But, uh... We have shared the stage or two. That's cool. Thanks, Ati. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Yeah, bro. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh huh. I need to check Tor's room. You said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. It's useless. Mm -hmm. I need to like, stop the story. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Give me your ID card. Sorry, Saga. That What's area is for staff. Center? It's in the wellness center. Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Thanks. I'm going upstairs. Where's the mobility chair that takes them up and down? Need the key. Blah, 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 blah. Ariel. 
I shouldn't Colonel interrupt him. Built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe they call the Ocean to View. Enjoy their beer and The ocean view, you say. Poor thing. I gotta touch the deer. I gotta touch him. What a poor deer. You're so nice. Nothing? There's so many containers and I will take every... Where's the shoebox? I gotta put some stuff up. Say I got rifle ammo. I don't even have a rifle. I got flares. I don't need that many flares. Okay, let's see. This is Tor's room. This is Tor's room. The hell happened in here? This is trash. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. What the hell, Tor? Tor made a damn mess, that's for sure. They're resting and they can't have guests. I don't care about that stuff right now. I'm gonna... No profiling to be done yet. It's, uh... Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> ma'am. I'll me. close the door. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more see serious? See of the night. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? <laughs> He's in no shape to talk. I think he's, uh... Odin's I don't think he's hung over. I think he's... <laughs> what happened to him? I think he got attacked. These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. Uh-huh. We have our little tricks. <clears throat> and so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. Odin took over we the mind place. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Torn Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. Well, there is. I'm starting to see it, too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. 
You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind plays more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind plays even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? Oh yeah. One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. To force the change in the this story. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. Scratch cannot By have Tom's the clicker. writing, Odin must mean Wake. No. You said Tor Tom is Zane, not Wake. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. Prince of fucking darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Was it Cynthia Weaver, the crazy ahead. lady with about the crazy about the lights? Oops. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Okay. I'm done here. I'm going to look at this picture. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? It's just some more story. Saga. This place is inaccurate. The chair's not even here. The swirly. Getting in is forbidden. For your own sake. Oh shit, Ati. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Jesus, Artie. Check Mandy May's room. Take what she's got lying around. Yes, I'm stealing from old people. What about it? They don't really need pistol and shotgun ammunition. Myself, I things with a nice little riddle like this better than any actual lock. <laughs> I don't understand. Need to find the key. Oh, okay, so I can't actually get into these places until I get. I guess a, a key card? I don't know if I'm gonna get a key card from Rose. All but blown. Meant to replace it days ago. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? With no 
She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. That was Cynthia Weaver. Yeah, that was her, the crazy light light bulb lady. Oh, it's a it's not a chair. It's wheelchair accessible. My bad. I thought it was gonna be like a whole ass chair on the on that, but I guess not. Well, that's all the time I have for this episode today, everybody. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.